An everyday chic school look. It's simple yet edgy. The bright colors on your lower lash line gives your natural look more flair. Start off by concealing your flaws. I'm using Lee Swader Concealer Portfolio Wheel and heating it with my blow dryer. The heat will melt the concealer just a bit so that the application is smoother. This will not ruin your concealer. Now, with a concealer brush, conceal your imperfections. This will include blemishes and redness. Use Salmon Concealer for your bluish dark circles, Minty Green Concealer to neutralize the redness around your nose. I like to add a bit of lavender on the ball of my eye just to brighten them a bit. Now, blend your concealer using a large foundation brush. Make sure you blend along the direction of your hair. It will look more natural. Taking a sponge, smooth out your concealer. This funny looking sponge makes it easy to blend around those hard to reach areas. Moving on to foundation. With my Kabuku brush and my mineral based foundation by Afterglow, sift the right amount of your foundation onto the cap. Dab a bit of your foundation onto the brush and give it a swirl. And apply it starting at your forehead and move down. Apply it in a circular motion. Mineral foundation is a good choice because a lot of students have to go through physical education where they're running around outside. The last thing you want is your liquid foundation to melt off your face. Mineral makeup is waterproof and can withstand the heat. Using Anastasia Eyebrow Powder and their angled brush, I'm shading in a natural looking set of brows. It should look lighter at the front and darker to the back. Time for eyeliner. With my Liquid Transformer by Lee Swader, this transformed my eyeliner into liquid eyeliner. Or you can just use Visine or water. I'm dabbing a bit of my darkest eyeshadow color and with my eyes open, applying my eyeliner starting from the front to the back. I prefer to break up my lines and retracing my line. You don't have to get it right the first time. Taking a white shimmering eyeshadow, apply it near your tear ducts. This gives you doe like eyes that looks youthful. Blend it with your q tip. So in love with Now, taking one of your favorite bright eyeshadow, apply it with your angled brush along the outer corner of your eyes. This is perfect for looking natural yet artistic. It gives you enough color without taking away your natural youthful beauty. Too many girls are using way too much makeup and eyeshadow when they're at school. You have to know what looks appropriate for school. If you wear too much, it looks like you're trying too hard, but if you wear just the right amount, it will look as if you're confident enough to show your natural beauty, but edgy enough to flash a bit of color. Time to curl your lashes and apply on your favorite mascara. I'm using Afterglow's mascara. They're great for not testing on animals and using 100% organic ingredients.
with your blush brush, load it up with your favorite blush color. along your cheekbones and all over your face to give you that radiant glow. Finish off with lip gloss. Your eyes should look subtle, but evoke enough curiosity for people to stare at them longer. Remember, be confident. That's the first step to everything. Feels like